Tycon 2019. This is Rocky Sharma from Sitara TV. And today we have the pleasure of meeting Prakash Husali from uh, Akila Labs. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, so could you please help us understand about your initiative? What is it that you do and how you're helping uh, people out there? So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm Prakash Usali. I'm the founder and CEO of Akila Labs. And uh, we are an AI startup based in New York City. Uh, and we are building uh, is an AI-driven health coach uh, for diabetes prevention. Uh, and we are taking a very holistic approach uh, to solve this problem. Instead of focusing just on diet and exercise, uh, we are uh, including elements uh, that go beyond uh, diet and exercise, like sleep, stress, environmental factors, uh, any other data that can impact your behavior. That's fantastic because a lot of people, they see a diabetic person give basic advice and then say ask them to take medicine, right? But it's great to know that you are uh, doing that. So uh, during this process, are there any health professionals like doctors or someone that are also involved in this change to help coach people? Uh, actually, that's a really good question. So, so instead of uh, treating ourselves as a tech startup, mm -hmm. we are uh, treating ourselves as a clinical company. Mm -hmm. And so we are putting a lot of rigor uh, in how we build a product and how we take it to market. Uh, so in terms of uh, the team that we have, we have as a founder, uh, she uh, is a computer research scientist uh, uh, and she's got a PhD in computer science. So she is uh, the AI part of the company. We also have is uh, two endocrinologists from Mount Sinai and uh, Weill Cornell who are providing the clinical research uh, to our team. And we also have as a psychiatrist, a behaviorist from Columbia uh, University who uh, you know rounds up our team. So it's a combination of data science that meets clinical research, that meets behavioral science to make sure that we can treat people, uh, give them personalized uh, attention literally on an hour to hour basis and uh, make sure that they become healthy and they stay healthy for life. So my next question is a user of your product, if I sign up, and uh, will I be able to get access only to uh, the written information or will I be able to get access to an actual physical coach? So yes, you. the idea is that we don't want to introduce a physical coach mm -hmm. because health coach, uh, first of all, there is no uh, area of study that helps people become a health coach. So anyone who's acting as a health coach are kind of self-learned individuals. Mm -hmm and they may or may not produce the result that you really need. So what we are doing is that instead of there being a person, we are using AI to replace that person. Okay. And that AI learns from your data, mm -hmm. and it uh, uh, takes the inputs from the expert system that we've created and creates as a real-time uh, content for you to uh, use. So uh, absolutely, you will have as an app that you can use, and it'll work with your wearable mm -hmm. device or any other sensors that you have. Uh, but at this point in time, we it, the product is not available to general public because we are actually doing a couple of clinical research pilots in New York, one at Mount Sinai where we have started and one at Cornell where we shot. Once we go through this clinical uh, research and we publish our outcomes, it's only then that we will be able to uh, give it to the general public and launch it commercially. I see. A couple of things that comes to my mind, right? AI is definitely providing us a, a extremely good opportunity to reach out to people, to help people. But there are two things that I understand. One, it could, the information that we are feeding, right? Uh, the inferences that it is getting, sometimes it could be wrong as well, right? And uh, how are we making sure to take care of that? And second is regarding the security of the data, right? And uh, how it's being used and who is accessing that information. So how are you dealing with that? Yeah, so, so one of the ways we are dealing with it is to actually treat your data mm -hmm. as your data. Mm -hmm. We have no plans whatsoever to monetize that data that we collect on your behalf. The only uh, way we'll use that data is to learn about your behavior mm -hmm. and in conjunction with our expert system, give you recommendation and advice mm -hmm. that is only meant for you. Okay. So, and that is the reason that this app, uh, this program will be paid by the customer or through insurance. Mm -hmm. So there won't be any uh, opportunity for us to provide this app for free and make money through monetization by providing ads or anything like that. Okay. So we want it to be your app meant for you alone. Mm -hmm. And we have make sure that you will have is rights regarding your data. 
Okay, because that gives us the confidence, the trust that yes, if I provide my data, the information that is customized for me is for me and my data, I can trust in this app. So that's fantastic. Absolutely, and, and, and we've seen this with a lot of uh, you know, companies, uh, you know, all these social media companies where they have tried to monetize your data because they have given you an app for free. I, I think that model is not something that uh, works for patients who have a medical condition mm -hmm. and there is no way that we will take any chance uh, with uh, their personal uh, data and we will treat their privacy with utmost uh, care and it'll be a top priority for us. Okay, How great. are you enjoying Tycon 2019? Uh, it's actually been a really good experience. So I am a charter member at uh, Chai New York, mm -hmm. and unfortunately we have tried to uh, put up a show like this, but I don't think so we get the scale and the uh, interest and the kind of reach that you guys have. Uh, and it makes sense. Uh, this Silicon is the Valley. Uh, Silicon Valley. This is the home of, uh, uh, you know, Chai. Uh, but I think it's been a great experience uh, for me personally. I've made a lot of connections, a lot of friendship, and also a, a few nights of drinking also. So that's been uh, a good... Uh, bonding, yeah, absolutely bonding. Uh, maybe a little bit of fighting, but, but that's... But that's uh, the, I don't know, I know, I don't know if uh, what happens in Santa Clara stays in Santa Clara. I don't know, but if it is not, I think I'm in trouble. But I think I had a really great time here, uh, and I hope uh, all the success to Tycon. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can take, I can take some of the learning from here and see if we can reproduce, uh, not at this scale, but at some scale uh, at, in New York. Okay. So and I would like to wish you all the very best with your initiative and wish you a very good luck and success ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, thanks for having me here uh, and all the best to you also. Sure. Thank you. Sure.